Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Dana, I am a mama to four and on my channel I love sharing our homeschooling journey as well as just motherhood encouragement and simple living. But I'd love to have you join our family and you can do so by subscribing down below. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite nature book series. If you are new here, my kiddos love anything to do with animals, outdoors, nature, and learning about all of those things. So I wanted to share with you some of my favorite living books when it comes to learning about them. This is actually just all one series. It's a set of five books. Nope, just kidding, six altogether, because <laughs> this is a newer one. Um, but I wanted to share with you the Christian Liberty Nature Readers. This is the book K one. So I wanted to kind of give you a closer look at them, kind of tell you how we use them and how we incorporate them into our home, and kind of how we actually make our own little bit of a science curriculum using them, because they are fantastic, we love them. And yeah, let's go ahead and jump into today's video. So the book K Nature Reader is actually gonna go throughout the entire alphabet. So of course for A, you're going to have A is for alligator. And one thing I like about these books in particular is the chapters are actually really, really short. So for that kindergarten level, it's great because their attention span isn't very long anyway. So it has that first opening page and then you have the two pages here. The illustrations are really, really pretty. At the end of every animal that you learn about, you're gonna have a little section for review. And so you're going to ask the little ones, the mother alligator, places her eggs under a what of grass and things like that. So there's all kinds of questions and typically how I use this, I will use one of these books probably not every single day, but maybe on average of twice a week as a little bit of an extra science thing, but not during school time. So we'll use this in our afternoon time, either after we're reading, because our afternoon kind of read aloud time is three, four o'clock, depending on when they need a break from the day, is that we will do this. And then that's honestly when they will also do their handwriting practice. So they'll write out the whole sentence and the answer, maybe even draw a picture of an alligator and just kind of make it more fun and hands-on. But I love that there's only a couple of pages to read for each animal and the level K1 anyway, or the B is for beetle section right here. It, there's only like a page and a half for that, and then you go straight into the question. It is just very, very simple, very user friendly, and very, very great, appropriate for the little years. So we we have been really, really thoroughly enjoying them. This is the level K. I'll show you really quick what the other ones look like. One second. So for book one, it's not going to be like level K where it was a different animal every single page or every single day, for because it is a through Z, so there's all kinds of different animals. These are gonna actually be in units. So for unit one, you're gonna have wasps. And then unit two, you're gonna have like other insects. So you're going to go into a lot more detail on each thing. So for book one, it's pretty much all the first section is gonna be about insects. And you have more about insects, remarkable insects. <laughs> unit five, learning about moths and things like that. And then you have prairie and forest life. Unit eight, you're gonna be learning about birds. Unit nine, you're gonna be learning about our great creator and things like that. And again, the illustrations are just really, really pretty. And then you have, an, you go into like mosquito life cycles. You have grasshoppers and things like that. But that's for book one. The second book, let me grab it, is this one right here. And on this one, you're gonna be doing a lot of crabs, shellfish, worms, bees, spiders, and things like that. So the first unit is a ton of information about crabs, then you have more information about wasps, and then you go into a study about bees. So for book three, they're going to go into flies, beetles, and dragonflies. They're gonna go into the characteristics and life cycles of sea creatures and things like that. And again, the exact same layout and form. So we have been loving these books. Books four and five. I think book four has been my first grader's favorite. There's a lot of information about birds, but there's a ton of information about snakes and he just loves it. So the unit one is perching birds, birds of prey and studying birds. So we love birds in our home. So if your little people do like birds, the book four would definitely, definitely be up their alley. And then they also go into more about insects, a ton of insects. But if you look here from pages 153 to 185, that's a lot of different units. It's a lot of snakes. So they love it. And then book five is also probably his second favorite after this one because it's a lot of more like ocean, ocean type creatures. So they seem, they love that one. On the book five, one of the things that I love about this one as well is it's not just the creatures. Oh my goodness. 
but it's also kind of like the whole atmosphere in which they live in or the habitat I should say. I have a section here that is plants in the ocean so just a lot about the ocean and so this is definitely why my little people like this probably the second best after all the birds but that is a series we love them again we use it as a very very light approach to an actual science quote unquote very light curriculum. I will actually need to do an updated video on the completed unit of the gather round creepy crawlies unit we did complete it finally it was it was a struggle completing it just to be honest because it was during a busy just the busy season of life of welcoming baby and so is since it is a very very teacher intensive as far as the amount of reading that was involved it was hard finishing it but we did praise the lord we actually did finish it and the kids did love it i'll do a complete kind of look back and review on it and then see if we end up getting another one yes well guys thank you so much for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed seeing some of our favorite books when it comes to nature study and how we use them in our home but yeah i hope you guys have a great rest of your day whatever you're doing and god bless bye okay let's go see if we can eat something